Hey guys, today is a really quick video and I just wanted to talk about blood pressure. Now I know a lot of you on this channel are here mainly because of injuries, but I also know that a lot of you have other health conditions too. One of them is often blood pressure. And quite often when I see new patients, at least half of them have other conditions as well. One of them is quite frequently high blood pressure. But when I ask people, do you fully understand what this means? Most people don't really fully understand blood pressure. So I just wanna break down exactly what the readings mean, um, what you're kind of looking for and how it relates to you. So it's gonna be really simple. It's not gonna go into the details about blood pressure, what causes it, what the treatments are. But if that is something that you are interested in, then let me know. But essentially, when you go to see a doctor or you go to see someone like me, quite often we will take blood pressure. Now there's two ways that you can do it. The first way that you can do it is with a blood pressure cuff and a stethoscope. So this would go around your arm and then your practitioner would put this on your elbow and listen to the heartbeats. Now this is the kind of old way, this is this how we're taught when we are learning, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of interpretive error that can happen. So I don't tend to use that so much now. What I tend to use more is the electronic versions like this. Now when you take a reading, what you'll get is a big number and a smaller number. So we have systolic and diastolic. So when we're talking about blood pressure, people always say something like 120 over 80 or 150 over 95 or whatever. So what those numbers mean are basically the pressures that the, the cuffs are measuring. So what we have is we've got the heart pumping blood around the body. So when the blood, so when the heart pumps, when it squeezes, it's pushing blood through your arteries. As it pushes that blood through the arteries, the pressure in those arteries goes up. So the big number, the top number, measures the pressure when your heart is squeezing. So when the heart squeezes, the pressure in the arteries goes up, ideally causing some uh, stretch through the arteries, and that's what we're measuring. We're measuring the pressure as the heart contracts. Then when the heart wants to fill up with blood, ready to be pumped again, the heart relaxes. So then we are measuring the pressure, again, still in the arteries, of the arteries when the, when the heart is relaxed. So when the heart relaxes, there's still fluid going through your blood, through your arteries. So there's always going to be some pressure. Now we want that to be 80. Ideally, we want the top number to be 120 millimeters of mercury. And then the bottom number we want to be ideally around 80. That's what we call an ideal blood pressure. So when the heart contracts, the pressure goes up. When the heart relaxes, the pressure comes down. Now, when people have high blood pressure, what happens is these blood vessels have either become less elastic or they've become constricted for whatever reason. So that constriction of blood vessels has increased the pressure within the system and within the arteries. Now, the, the dangers of having high blood pressure is that it can cause damage to arteries and that can lead to tearing and that can lead to other conditions like strokes. So it's actually a very dangerous condition, can lead to lots of, condition, lots of uh, different problems. We'll go through that another day if that's something that you want to go through. But for now, I just wanted to talk to you about what the big number means and what the small number means. So next time you go to the doctor and they say, oh, your blood pressure is 129 over 84, then you know what that means. And what we want is a number as close as possible to 120 over 80. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully now you understand a little bit about what blood pressure is, what the readings mean. And in the future, if you want me to go through another blood pressure video about causes, treatments, that side of things, then please let me know. So I hope today was helpful and I will see you in the next video.